I am back with another great episode of She Put Race to the Side and One Love. It looks like Ken found his Barbie. I've shown you Melanie Matroska, known as Creme de la Creme, and her husband, her Russian husband. I've shown you Candace Owens and her husband. And I've shown you Rachel Lindsay and her husband, Brian Abasalo, from the hit show, The Bachelorette. And now I'm showing you Milan. You might know her on Instagram as Lissa.Milan. Okay. I'm sure her face looks a little familiar to some of you. As she says on her page, she was made in Kingston, Jamaica. And I've been there. I am half Jamaican. It's absolutely stunning. And she was packaged in Miami, Florida and exported to Dubai. Yes, this is another Jamaican beauty like Melanie Matroska, okay? And she's a former beauty queen. She's been living a fabulous life with her husband, Richard, in Dubai. There have been talks on blogs about her relationship, people intrigued, the mystery, where did she meet him, the haters. Having haters is nothing new to her. Her name is Lisa Gale Wee Tom, and she was born in 1989. Her family is actually well known and respected in Jamaica, known as the Wee Toms. Her mother, her name is Juliet, Juliet Roez, and she was actually a soap opera star in Jamaica. Her father, Gary Wee Tom, is an entrepreneur. Now, although she was born in Jamaica and was there for a few years, her family moved to Florida. There's actually a very large population of Caribbeans in Florida. She was very successful. She attended Florida Atlantic University and Florida International University where she received a bachelor's in mass communication. Now, remember when I said she might look familiar to you? That's because she was on the hit BET show called College Hill. We all remember College Hill in Florida. So, she had success in college, but she was also a beauty queen. She had been competing in pageants since she was six years old. Her first pageant title was in 2009 as Miss Florida Caribbean. She also won Miss Jamaica International in 2010. Many suitors, they had their eyes on her. In fact, it was rumored that she was briefly dating Olympic gold medalist Usain Bolt. He was known as the fastest man alive. And basketball player Kevin Durant had his eye on her. A, a few men had their eye on her. She's gorgeous. But the man who captured her heart and won her was Richard. And they were married in 2014. Richard, it was rumored that he is a watchmaker, but actually he collects watches. What I do know is that he owns and operates a very successful business that affords them to live in Dubai and travel the world. Now, right after the marriage, a pregnancy soon followed. She had a baby cooking, baking in the oven, and she had a gorgeous photo shoot for her pregnancy that I love so much. They have been happily married, and not too long ago, they actually welcomed their third son, and she looks absolutely fabulous after each pregnancy, having three children. When when he met her she looked amazing and to this day she still looks amazing she's very inspirational when he looked into those big beautiful almond shaped eyes he was hooked and a marriage soon followed in no time it's wonderful that she gets to be a stay-at-home mother she's supported the grandfather loves the children she travels she fine wines and dines and she has a husband that loves to spoil her and show her off but most of all she has stability a stable family when she was young can you believe she was bullied but who's laughing now who's laughing now milan as she's called we see you. In fact, we'll be seeing more of her. Not only does she have a YouTube channel where you can catch her and her children and her husband, where they share their love story. They actually met at a club in Miami, but she also has her own website. But to top it off, you will be seeing her next year in 2022 on The Real Housewives of Dubai. Yes, she is one of the cast members. Now, I have known about her for years, so I'm so happy to see this happen for her. So, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. And cheers to you, Milan, for choosing the best man, regardless of color, and living a carefree life. 
I'm so happy to see this. She takes care of herself. She's simply stunning. You know, she chose the best man again. The best man won. She put race to the side and won love. Not only is she a beauty queen, but she's also Richard's queen. So she doesn't just live a life of luxury and travel. She does things. She has her own business, Mina Rowe, maternity for luxury fashion for expecting mothers. So you can check out her page on Instagram. You can check out her website. You can check out her YouTube channel. I will have all of this in the comment section. Ladies, put race to the side. Stop standing in the way of having happiness. Keep blooming your flowers. Know your worth. You are worth so much. Give love a chance. You might move out the country. You never know what to expect. You can have the most amazing love life and just happy life. Do what Milan did and so many of these women that I'm showing you. Put race to the side and you can win love and with great men. So if you know anyone who put race to the side and won love, and you would like for me to talk about them, you can contact me. My email is in the description box. If you know anyone, if you want to share your own love story, I'm so happy to bring this to you so you can see what's possible. Thank you so much, Milan, Lisa Milan, for being an inspiration and so many of the ladies I show. Ladies, keep blooming. Thank you. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And this series will continue.